Hi, good, uh, good afternoon. Um, I know it's late in the day, but um, I am, my name is Mary Villarreal and I am a 35 year music teacher with SAISD. I've taught at Riverside Park Elementary for 35 years. And this year I am at Hillcrest Elementary as well. So um, I was really glad that I was able to uh, do this presentation for Ready Tech Go. I just would like to say that I am really um, honored to uh, be part of this great team, this technology team that we have in SAISD. Uh, I'm telling you, we have the best technology team in Texas. They are incredible. They do a lot of work for us and um, they make a lot of resources available for us. And this is one resource that they have made available for us and it's free. And um, so I'm gonna share it with you. It is called Lumio. There are two ways that you can get into Lumio. You can go into your class link and I'm gonna show that right now. And you can scroll down. My um, links are in alphabetical order. So I scroll down to the S, you can move them around and, and uh, set them however you would like. And right here is the smart learning suite. And you would click in there and then it will go and set up and do its magic and uh, log you into Lumio. Uh, the other way that you can get into Lumio is you can go to your Google Drive. You can click on the plus new and you can scroll down to more and then you can scroll down to Lumio by smart and you can click there. The other way is to go into your waffle, click on there, scroll down, and there it is, Lumio by Smart, okay? So there are several ways that you can get into there, into the Lumio. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna go through the slides and I'm gonna show you the, uh, the possibilities with Lumio. All of these slides, I made them um, through this Lumio app. So, um, so the presentation is by me, Mary Villarreal. I work with SAISD, I'm an elementary music teacher. And these are Lumio lessons for music teachers. So uh, the Lumio lessons help with class participation. They are interactive and they make learning fun. So the Lumio lesson, you can build lessons using interactive slides, games, and videos. Um, you can make audio as well. You can record or have the students record. Um, you can uh, create text-based uh, activities, videos specific to the activity, interactive games, entrance tickets and exit tickets, individual student feedback. Um, you, will, you will have individual student feedback uh, or group uh, feedback, and you will be able to collect data on those students and the classes. And that's hard for us as music teachers because we teach, uh, you know, the whole school. So it's it's difficult to to uh, um, incorporate that piece. But Lumio makes it easy for us. Okay, so I just set up a, a lesson on dynamics. Okay, so. We're just gonna go through and I'm gonna show you what I did. Um, I put my Coloso on the slide. I can use known music symbols and terminology referring to dynamics. Now this one lesson here, I just made it very, very simple for this presentation. Um, I would make it just a little bit uh, more difficult. Maybe this is a good kindergarten lesson but then I added some components at the end that it could go up to uh, maybe second grade, okay? And then your, there's your low and then so. So um, tools needed, what tools are needed for the music class? Listening ears, watching eyes, singing and speaking voice, thinking and learning brain, kind heart. So all of these slides I made individually. 
and you will have access to these slides because I'm gonna um, share them with you. Alrighty, have you ever heard of a person described as being dynamic? And so then the, on the next slide, um, it is called a shout out and um, the students would have to have their student devices. And as a teacher, I start it and then they come in. And they would have to go to hellosmart.com and enter the class code. And it says waiting for students to connect. I'm gonna X out just real quick. So we're not gonna have students connect. And, and it's gonna say, it's gonna give them uh, yes, uh, you know, I know what dynamic, what a dynamic person is. Uh, maybe, maybe, I don't, I'm not really sure. Or no, I don't know what a dynamic person is. And the students would be able to um, drag in, type in and drag in their uh, responses. And I know that would be difficult for the little ones to type in their responses. So this would be an activity um, more for the bigger kids. Okay, a dynamic person is full of energy and brings excitement wherever they go. So we're just giving them prior knowledge. We're just giving them something to um, use that word dynamic. And then we're gonna talk about how a dynamic person is, you know, we, we have a word in music that um, also we use the word dynamic, but it's, it's, uh, it has a different meaning. So musical instructions. Composers write musical instructions in their music. One of the musical instructions a composer uses in their compositions are dynamics. Dynamics are how loud or soft, quiet, the volume of the music is, okay? So we can, this um, as well is just, um, so we can introduce to them, now we're using the word dynamic in music class. Now this is what it means in music class. Okay, so we're gonna talk about dynamics and Elmo and Kermit are gonna help us learn about dynamics. Uh, F, forte, loud. And of course you would um, ask the students to repeat after you so that way they can get that term terminology. And P, piano, soft, quiet. And so I'm gonna play just a little bit, not a lot of the um, Kermit and Elmo, loud and soft. Hi all, Kermit the Frog here today to talk to you about the words loud and quiet. Elmo, uh, not today, and, and please don't talk so loud. <clears throat> so loud? Uh, yes. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, Mr. Green Frog. Good. Elmo, not talk loud. Fine. Elmo, talk quiet. Yeah. Uh, yes. Now, yes. Mr. Okay. Green Frog, let Elmo help. What? Let Elmo help. Uh, well, 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 thank you, but no. You see, today I want to tell everybody about loud and quiet, and unfortunately, I don't need your help. Okay, so I'm going to stop it right there. And um, I was able to... Um, put this slide in. I'm going to show you in just a little bit how I was able to put this video in from YouTube. Alrighty, so here is another uh, response and we're going to talk about loud and soft. And I'm not sure if it'll go, yeah, there it is, waiting to start the activity. So here we go again, you're going to have to go to hellosmart.com or 401. 219. Okay, and then uh, there are questions. Show questions right there. Okay, so the dynamic of this animal is, is it A, forte, or B, piano? Of course, we're all music teachers, so we should know the answer to that. Okay, and I'm just going to show you there's just five questions. The sound of this transportation is piano, true or false? Um, when is the best time for a child to be forte? Inside a movie theater, outside during a fire drill, outside on the playground, inside a museum. 
um, the best time to be piano. When we are playing, when we are in class learning, when we are outside on the playground, when there is an emergency. So, and then what is your favorite dynamic, piano or forte? And that's just kind of a, a poll. You will see, uh, that's a poll question. So you'll see that. All righty, now then now I uh, it's time to sing piano and forte. So what I did is I brought in a video, and let me just play a little bit of that. That's and we're going to sing piano and forte. They usually I have them listen to it first, listen to the song first, and then we join in the second time. Okay, and there is that. All righty, let's go to the next slide. Okay, rank order. This is a fun game that the kids love to play. And so um, they can also complete it. That we, I usually do this game on the smart board where they can drag it or they can uh, use their own devices. So, okay, here's piano down here and here's forte up here. So um, what makes the loudest sound? I say the police siren car, okay? And then next the lion roar and then uh, the bird chirping, the bee buzzing. And then I don't think a butterfly makes too loud of a noise. So it gives you the answer right there, right away. And it lets you know if it's correct or not. Now I'm gonna uh, put them in the wrong order. And so you, so you can see what happens. Okay, it tells me immediately, no, that one is not gonna go there. Also, if I click on this blue square, it shows me the picture bigger. So in case I can't really tell what that is, because it's so small, I can click on this blue square on the right bottom and it will more make it bigger and then I can see it better. Okay. Alrighty, this is called the monster quiz and uh, this is a piano forte. Okay, so once again, the students have to join in. So if the students haven't joined, no one's joined. So. It's not gonna let me play it, but uh, once the kids join, then it'll let them play the activity. All righty. Okay, this is a really, really fun game. It's called Game Show. The kids love it. Um, I usually do it on the smart board um, so they can see it. And then I break them up in groups. So I'm gonna start it. Okay, so we have the dragons against the monsters, or you can, you know, and uh, so we break them up in groups, then we spin the wheel. This is really fun. The kids love this. It asks a question when a baby is asleep. I am forte. Okay, so I'm going to put, I'm going to put true, even though it's false, 
just so you can see. That's incorrect. Let's give the next team a try. So the dragons got it wrong. So now the monsters, we're gonna put false. Now they didn't get their hundred points, but they got 50 points because of course they were, um, they got it the second time. So continue. So now it's the monster's turn to spin the wheel. So you can see how much fun, they love it. Um, there is audio, I mean, there is sound to this um, game, um, but it's not, oh, you know what? I have it on mute, I think. No, I don't. Okay, piano, P, piano. Um, oh, P is piano, true or false? That is true. Okay, so we got that, 100 points. So we got the full points. So that now they have 150 to zero. So you see that um, this game, the game show, they like that a lot. It's a lot of fun. Okay, I'm not gonna go there for right now because I am gonna go here. Um, oh, I know what I wanna go into. I wanna show you how to um, get slides. This is just a little demo practice. Okay, how to bring the slides in. So I made these slides on Google Slides. Okay, and I'm gonna go to my Lumio. I'm just gonna start it like right at the beginning. Okay. So this is what you see. This is my Ms. B's class, okay? And this is what you will see. So I'm gonna start a new one, add activities, okay? So when I start a new one, I can import resources. I can import a PDF. You can import a PDF sheet music, okay? If you want to give them some type of sheet music that they have to um, maybe put the Forte Piano, or put the notes in, write the notes in. You can put, um, um, you know, any type of uh, documentation that's a PDF, you can bring it in and the kids can write on it. It's really, really cool. Uh, you can bring something in from notebook, which is a smart, um, we have notebook on our desktop, on our um, uh, teacher computers. So you can bring anything from there, from notebook. Here's the PowerPoint presentation and the Google Slides. Okay, so that's if I wanna import some slides. If I wanted to import YouTube, here's YouTube, demos, and then FET is the science um, application. There's new page, stand out, a shout out, shout it out. That's what I uh, put in there. Response and game-based activities. You would have to click on all of these in order to kind of go through it and see what you like and what your kids would like. I would suggest um, clicking on uh, several of the different games so that way you'll see um, what they like. So I'm gonna click here on the um, import resource and I'm gonna click my uh, the Google Drive down at the bottom. And so it's gonna open my Google Drive Okay, and then I made a demo. Of the ready tech go right here so i'm going to select that and it's going to import them. And i'll take a little bit. Alrighty, and then you can decide, no, I don't want this one after all, or you can just bring them all in. I'm just gonna bring them all in, add. Okay, so there are the slides that I brought in, okay? And they're set, there's really nothing I can do um, to, I can unlock it right here, unlock it. But that will move the entire slide, okay? Because the entire slide is together. 
So I can unlock it, but I can't really do much with it. So it comes in locked. So if there's something that you want to get rid of, if you don't like this up here, you can um, maybe put a picture and you know cover it up with the picture. Already um, tools needed. All right, so I, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna add a game. I'm just gonna come down here. If you um, click on the plus, the blue plus down at the bottom, okay? And you want a game-based activity. I am going to put, put in a word search, okay? All righty. And you can do title dynamics. Okay, and then you just put piano, forte, loud, soft, quiet, um, sound. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just gonna put six for right now. And then you can make it easy, moderate, difficult, okay? So maybe easy for the kinder first, moderate second, third, difficult fourth and fifth. So we'll put it on moderate and then show word list. You always wanna show a word list. Um, um, that's really helpful for all the kids. So then you go to next and then you get to pick what background you want with your word search. So I'm gonna pick space, pick this one, and finish, and there it is. There's the word search and I can preview it. And there it is, there are my words, forte, loud, piano, quiet, soft, sound. And then I have to go over here to the left and search for the word. It also gives you an option to click for a hint in case you're really, really having a hard time. It will uh, help you out. So let's click for a hint and let's see what it tells me. Okay, there's an end there. So you will look around and look and see if you find a word. Can I really? There it is. Okay, right here, forte, right there. So then you, you um, highlight the letters and then it crosses it out. There's forte, okay? It's really a lot of fun and you, you have control over what words go in and what words do not go in. Um, the other thing I'm going to show you, another option, is game-based activities. Um, I'm going to go to memory match. Okay. On the memory match, you can put, um, I'm going to put a lion, roar, because we saw this lion. Yeah, this one, okay. And we can put P, um, L, no, F, sorry. <laughs> well, I don't know, Miss V's cracking up. Okay, F, um, we can put the butterfly. There's the butterfly. We can put P, we can put the B, oh, sorry. So I'm just adding the pictures here. I'm clicking, I'm putting bumblebee, I'm searching and I'm getting the bumblebee that really, I can really see it. That's piano. 
And then um, let's put the motorcycle. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. There's the memory match. So I'm gonna preview it. And you can do one player or two players, or you can do them in teams, uh, two teams. Okay, I'm gonna put one player. Match category one and category two. So Forte, yeah, no, nope. That matches the motorcycle and Forte. F and the B. Nope. Piano and the B. Yay, that matches. So you get the idea. I just made it very, very simple. No way. And very quickly. But you can see how this can entertain the kids for a good little while, and they're learning the sounds, and they get to celebrate, yay, how fun. <laughs> okay. Let me X out of there. All right. So those are the different uh, activities. There's a lot of things that you can add. There's polls. Um, I wanted to show you this, the graphic organizers. If you scroll down, all the way down. Uh, oh, not the graphic organizers. Oh, pardon me. Excuse me. Sorry. Let me sh go back. The manipulatives. If you go down, you'll see the music notes. So... Now, I really, really like this because this can be an activity in itself. This is, uh, the, it clones. So you could put your treble clef here and it's uh, in infinitive cloning, you know, infinity. You know, it, it, it clones forever. Okay, and you can put your whole note. You know, what is, um, What is the letter name of that note? You can ask the kids, you know, so it's, um, you can do a lot of things. The only thing is it doesn't have the bar line. So, and it doesn't have the uh, four, four time signature. So what you can do is you can go into that smart notebook and uh, set up a template just like this. So that way you can clone and put your bar lines and put your time signatures and put the things that you really need into this um, and you know, set up your staff as well. But it's really, really neat when you're first starting or when you're just learning about the notes, um, whole note, half note, quarter note, doesn't have eighth notes, so we would have to make those. But if you noticed here, this is where it has that infinite cloner right there. All righty, I think that's all for my presentation, but I do wanna share with y'all. Um, let me go back to, no, that's my demo. This one. Yeah, okay. Okay, I do want to go back to here because I went to a smart um, a Lumio smart training just before this one. And there are some really amazing elementary music resources. Um, this is the link for it. Okay. And um, here is, you know what, I'm going to have to make a QR code for that. Here's what it looks like. Okay. So there are 
a ton of elementary music resources that um, you can use. Hold on, let me see something because it doesn't seem like. Yeah, that's it. It went into a different one. Hold on. There it is. Okay. There it is. So I am going to grab this. Well, you know what? I'll make a. Oh, it doesn't let me on this slide. I need to make a QR code and place it in the slides. So you will get a copy of these slides. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to show this slide. So that way you can uh, scan the QR code and you will get a copy of these slides. Um, and what I'll do is I will add in a slide, duplicate slide. So that way I can give you this one. Okay. And then let me, I'm going to stop sharing my screen for a second. And I am going to create a QR code for that. So that way it'll be in the slides and you will be able to just go straight to it. Oh, no, that's not it. Down, okay. Thank you for being patient while I get this for you. Now let me insert the image. And I just made with the QR code. Okay. All righty. Now I can share again and show you that one. Okay. There you go. So you can just scan it with your phone. I'm going to scan it just to make sure it works. Yep, it worked. I don't know about that. Okay, and then let me scan this one just to make sure it works. And this one's going to make you force copy. So you will get a, mm -hmm, you will get a, all right, when you go into this Lumio, Make sure that you select um, kinder first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and then scroll all the way down and make sure you select music. So it'll give you kinder first, second, third, fourth, fifth music. Okay. Make sure you select that. All righty. And that is my presentation. And I really appreciate y'all giving me this opportunity to present for our elementary music teachers.
No, good job. Thank you so much. Um, let me add, I was going to point it out one thing I was going to add in. Um, just go to your share screen again and show me your Lumio account. Um, go do finish editing. I wanted to point out um, that place, I think yeah, you're referring to getting other people's resources is right there. That blue button says explore resources. Oh yeah, resources. explore resources. Uh -huh. So that's where they can check the things. And then we're, what you just designed, scroll down a little bit. I know y'all are kind uh -huh. of a, you know, y'all are SAISD, I would assume really good music community of teachers that get together maybe sometimes and stuff on that three dots is there's an easy way to share those out email wise. Um, just hit the and then say share link and then you can email links to each other or put them on the IPG on the lesson plans and stuff like that if you hit share link. And then you can share it says give a copy of this lesson to other teachers that's where you'd copy it and we can just an idea to share with your friends or if any other music teachers make something that might be they may want to share out to y'all that that would be a good place to copy links and share out. Also, okay. if you go to the green button to create something new, I saw you were doing that at activities yeah. and you were kind of pointing out a lot of the good options there, but, and you you touched on FET. And if you don't know, you said FET is for science and generally it is. Um, it stands for physical education technology, I believe, or physics education technology. Yeah, the but, physics, yes. Yeah, but the good thing about that program, I don't know if you teach, uh, there is a music program in there. Um, I know it's Oh, based. there is. Yeah. And I went to a training with FET, but she only showed the science component. Yeah. So there, um, there's music? Yeah, if you, yeah, we can look at it real quick if you want. Um, type in sound, right? Because that would be music. Um, and it would pop up some sound things. And the best, the, the things that you would teach in there would be the sound waves. Um, if you'd show them like a high pitch and low pitch, what that wave would look like. Um, and um, maybe vibration, some kind of vibration. I would say your, your, your wave into water or wave on a string. I, I mean, I don't know directly how music teachers go. I would imagine you teach pitch and high pitch. And yeah, low pitch, we do. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And that would be a good uh -huh. way to use. And that. vibration. And right. Yeah. Yeah. So just check those out. If you have time, okay. free time to see if those would be any use to you. Um, uh, in a music class and not a science class, you know, because we can, right. we can, well, enter. yeah, you know, music is in all, you know, we, we have math, we incorporate math, like I was saying with the notes, with the whole note and, you know, we incorporate all subject matter. Yeah, you, you know, do. So. Yeah, exactly. So that'd be a but good yeah, place to I start. Went to, I went to a FET training with uh, Lumio but she just, I did not know that there was, she was just doing the science Right. Component. Uh, I went. I went for that reason. I wanted her to show me um, something incorporating the music component with it. Yeah. But she just did the the science part. Okay. Of it. No, good. Just wanted to point that out there for you and anyone else that that yeah, wants definitely. to play around and some. I will out. look into it and see how we can use it to incorporate it because it. it we do. We do a lot of that stuff. I, I love doing science and sound with uh, with our music and vibration because, you know, they can feel it um, with when they're playing the instruments and stuff like that, like the string instruments, right. they can feel it, you know. Right, right. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, well, good. Thank you so much. Um, and I'll stop the recording here.